In this video, we're going to be looking at what's known as continuous assignment within the Verilog language. And these are basically continuous connections, is the way I think of it. You're actually physically connecting wires between buses, flip-flops, or other hardware. Okay, so it's just like if you were to wire it up using jumper wires. That's what continuous assignment does. So to do continuous assignment in Verilog, we use the assign statement. Okay, and that means continuous assignment. Now, let's do an example. So I'm going to declare wire, and it's going to have 9 bits. So it's a bus of 9 bits called sum. I'm going to declare two 8-bit variables A and B. And I'm going to do the following operation. Sum, oh, assign sum equals a plus b. Now, what Verilog will do here is it will actually generate an adder for us. All right, so digital arithmetic, it, it knows how to do it. It knows how to create an adder. It knows the size of the input bits. All right, so it knows well, the input buses, which in this case they're both 8-bit, knows the size of the output, and so what this will really do is create something like this for us. So that's sum, that's A, that's B, this is 8-bit, this is 8-bit, and this is 9-bit. So it will actually connect together using wires, everything to this adder, and place the result in sum for us. Right, so it's just like a assignment of, um, or connecting wires between the adder, so that sum connects to the output of the adder. Right, let's have another look at another example. Okay, let's say we've got wire A, B, and C. Alright, I could do something like sign C equals A and B. All right, and that would create a AND gate. So the assign statement basically takes whatever the logical expression is. This part, well, this part is the gate, the logic operation and assign then connects you know this variable this variable or these these signals and connects them to that logical operation that we've made all right that's basically all there is with the assign statement noting that just like a gate if a changes c changes if b changes c changes all right so depending on the operation or logic operation these are continuously hence the name being updated and thus whenever an input changes the output may change. It doesn't have to depending on the operation but uh, it may change if, if it's required. So they're being continuously updated just like you'd expect if you'd wired something together. If voltage is changing in the wire, the output's going to be changing at the same time. The other thing to remember is to watch out for, let's say we've got a situation like this, where I go sine B equals A, and the sine C equals B. Now, 
In C, okay, in software, these would happen sequentially. All right. In software, C is equal to A. First, B gets taken the value of A, then C gets taken the value of B. All right, in software. I'm going to really emphasize that. In hardware, both operations happen at once. They both happen in parallel. All right, so everything in an FPGA happens in parallel. Now in this example, the compiler might be smart enough to work out we don't need B, so it maybe we get the right answer. Uh, but you've got to remember that the order of lines does not dictate or uh, control the order they are executed. Okay, it is not software. So just watch out for that. Right? When you're designing your hardware, you need to think carefully. And this is what's known as a race condition. What happens first? Did that execute first and then this? Did they happen exactly at the same time? It's a little bit, uh, little bit unknown. Alright, so brief summary. Continuous assignment is a continuous connection. Physics connecting wires between buses, flip-flops and other hardware. Ooh, got my E. All right, and they are always been assigned. So continuous assignment, they're continuously being updated. Whenever an input changes, the output may change depending on the logic operation. We did a couple of examples showing you an assign statement with an adder. Okay, logic operation here, form the adder. A and B are the inputs, sum the output, and wire. Uh, sorry, for this example, the assign statement used to create a and gate with two inputs. Also watching out that the order that you put your assignment statements does not dictate whether or not which order they happen in. Right? It's hardware. Things happen in parallel now.